Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about cloud computing. We will concentrate on IBPS, SO, IT officer and SBI IT officer on this. In this we would be discussing about three things, uh, cloud computing basics, the service models and the deployment models. Okay, Let's go to what is cloud computing. Cloud computing is delivery of computing services. Now what are the computing services? Computing services are the servers, storages, databases, networking softwares, analytics and many things that are available over the uh, internet okay so cloud computing is delivering of the computing services over the internet okay many companies are there those offer these services and those companies are called cloud providers one of the example of cloud provider is amazon web service which we all know and we call it as aws okay let us discuss further we have many service models in cloud computing these are very important in the point of view of uh, ibps uh, so it officer let's see First is the infrastructure as a service, that is IaaS. In infra, uh, second is platform as a service. Okay. Third is software as a service. Let's discuss what is infrastructure as a service. Okay. We all write these three service model in the form of a stack. Okay. Now we will be discussing infrastructure as a service. Uh, infrastructure as a service is a basic computing model okay with infrastructure as a service you can rent IT infrastructures what are IT infrastructures servers virtual machines storage networks and operating systems they all are provided by the cloud provider in infrastructure as a service so it is the basic many basics of the category of the cloud computing services okay uh, and it is useful for infrastructure and network architects okay and next is the pl platform as a service suppose you are working on windows 7 and you want to develop a, a software uh, which is based on center os okay so uh, by using cloud computing you can get a virtual platform for that okay so what this platform as a service it refers to cloud computing services that supply an on-demand environment for developing for everything for developing for testing for delivering for unmanaging software applications okay that is it is for the developer side platform of, uh, as a service is used by the developers whereas infrastructure as a service was used by network architects okay you should remember this and platform as a service is designed to make it easier for the developers to cre quickly create web or mobile application without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers, storage, network, databases needed for development. Because these all, all things would be developed given by the uh, service providers, cloud providers. Okay. Now the next is we can see that uh, platform as a service is used by application developers okay and the next is software as a service software as a services uh, we have we all use some software in our phones also the software as a service refers to those applications only uh, the updates to that software they are also software as a service only okay it's a software as a service is a method of delivering software applications over internet okay from uh, for android phones we have google store a uh, play store in which we uh, from which we um, download applications so that is a form of uh, software as a service only okay it provides on demand software on subscription basis okay with software as a service cloud providers host and manage is a software application and underlying infrastructure and handle any maintenance okay like soft software upgrades if you want to upgrade a software or there is some security patching it is all done by software as a service okay generally software as a service is run on a web browser or a phone web, uh, web browser within a phone or in a pc okay software as a service is generally used by end users end users are those users though who uses this software or oh, this was all about the service model let's take an example of platform officer as a service uh, Microsoft Azure it provides .NET based environments okay so for any environment if you need .NET environment so Microsoft Azure will provide it okay for Java and Python environment Google App Engine provides the uh, platform as Java and Python okay these are the example for platform as an environment that is you are working on a different operating systems and you want to work 
on a different operating system so instead of uh, um, installing the operating system you can just use the services from the cloud okay that is platform as a service it was an example now let us uh, compare all these models uh, software as a service was used by front end users okay it contains user and user related configuration platform as a service it is used by uh, it is used by programmers and it has limited administrative uh, um, facilities okay and infrastructure as a service it has full administrative facilities and it, it uh, gives full access to virtualized infrastructure okay these are the differences between all three uh, service models now let's move on to under another service model also let's move on to them uh, we have storage as a service database as a service security as a service communication as a service integration as a service testing as a service and process as a service these are other models but the main three models are the basic cloud models which we uh, learned earlier okay that is platform infrastructure and software okay now let us come to cloud deployment models what we have learned earlier was service models now we would be learning about cloud deployment models what are cloud deployment models every cloud is not the same there are different types of clouds okay and there are three ways to deploy a cloud let's see what are the ways the first is the public cloud the second is the private cloud and third is the hybrid cloud. Let's see the public cloud. The public clouds are owned and operated by third party cloud service providers such as Amazon Web Service or Microsoft Azure which deliver the computing resources like servers, storage over the internet. Okay, That is, it is delivered everything over the internet and everyone can access it. That is the public cloud. Who are the public cloud service provider that is Microsoft Azure. With a public cloud, all hardware, software and other supporting infrastructures owned, managed by the cloud provider. Okay, Everything is managed by the cloud provider. You can access these services and manage your account using a web browser. Okay, This is what is all about public cloud. Public cloud is fully handled by a service provider. Who is a service provider? It can be Microsoft Azure is also an example of public cloud and Amazon Web Service is also an example of public cloud. All the services are, are provided and managed by the service provider only, okay, cloud provider only, okay. See, this is the, it is there in the internet. So, public cloud is the part of internet, okay. Now, let's move on to another topic that is a private cloud. What is a private cloud? Private cloud is a cloud which is owned by an organization, which is managed by an organization. All the computing resources are used exclusively by a single business organization. For a single company would be using it or a single business would be using it. That is a private cloud. Private cloud can be physically located on the company's on-site data center. Okay, the every company has a data center. It, it is located on the company site data center only. Some companies also have third party service providers to host their private cloud. Private cloud. If, if a company does not have their own data center or they don't have a capability to manage the cloud, so they can have a third party vendor also for that. Private, private cloud is one in which the services and infrastructures are maintained on a private network. Whereas in the public cloud, it was on the internet. So anyone can access it. For the private cloud, it is on the private network. Okay. So this is the private network. It is internal or in the premises of an organization. Whereas the public cloud was in the internet. Okay. Public cloud was in internet and private cloud was in the premises of the organization. Okay. Now let's move on to other that is the hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud combines both private and public clouds. It combines both private and public clouds. They are bonded together by technology and allows data as well as application to be shared between them. Okay. What happens? Both the public and private cloud, they are combined together to form a hybrid cloud and the data and the applications between public as well as the private clouds can be shared. Okay, that is what we call as hybrid uh, cloud. So it increases the flexibility and it uh, gives more deployment option. So uh, by hybriding it with, we will have flexibility and more deployment option. Okay, now say thank you. This is what this was all about cloud computing. Thank you.